Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Hocus and Mondo. We can finally say it again after all these many years, however many episodes right now, probably like 50 or something like that, he's finally back. So we do have, uh, on the moon, we've actually been saving up with all of the glitter tech traders that have been turning up all kind of, I don't even know what we've got up here anymore. Um, we've got a cybernetic exoskeleton, we've got a... Oh, those metabolic mechanites. Those were really good. Right, okay. What I was thinking, basically, was we send Hocus down in a shuttle with some resources, uh, like like the, the useful stuff, like sending a mining skill trainer down probably wouldn't hurt, along with the um, along with the prosthetics. Start upgrading Mondo while he's still out for the count, while his body is still basically regenerating. We'll see what we can do with him. I don't just want Mondo back. I want Mondo Prime. So let's send Hocus, and let's send... We'll leave Dr. Don MD up on the moon where his license hasn't been revoked, because he'll be, be right in his element up here. We'll send the Mechanites, we'll send the Cybernetic Exoskeleton. Do, do they want anything else? I don't think they really do. I think that's alright. Oh, the skill trainer for mining. Yeah, sure, there we are. Um, then we've got Uranium Fuel Pod. We've only got 112 up here, so we might need to send some more up, or craft some fresh ones up here. Uh, yeah, good, fine. Let's send you down then straight away, if you don't mind. Now, what I'm doing on the surface is something I don't normally do in any RimWorld series, and that's training up some people into a different area. So, specifically, we've got Bear. Uh, Bear is... Let me sort by crafting. Bear is currently at four crafting, but he has a minor passion in it. What I'm thinking is we could craft some of those uh, brain mechanites to make you learn things good. Uh, was it the teaching AI? There it is. So, 15% hungrier, but with a 35% learning factor. I think if we can craft one of those and stick it in his brain... We could potentially train it up to be our fourth smelter. Either that or we do it to Mondo, who, of, of course, already has a double passion in it. Um, I think we'll stick with Bear for the time being. What I've gone and done as well is I've um, basically set up a very basic permanent job there, Make Took. Um, I've also set it so that we've got more strict recycling going on, basically just to always give him a job. So any tainted apparel can be recycled. Then we've got any apparel that we're not using. So chef's uniforms, chainmail, casual t-shirts, basically nothing but um, the, the gear setup. We've got our EVA stuff and other important things of note like LTEX. Then we've got anything below 50% hit points. And then the final one is anything between awful to normal quality. So we're only keeping the best and we're only keeping if it's a high hit points. Everything else can be recycled. That should give Bear plenty to do. Um, so we'll kind of keep an eye on and make sure he is he's doing that. But I, ideally training people up will allow us to get through some of this backlog of uh, resources we've ended up. What I thought is, you know, we needed the silver to build the hospital, right? We don't need silver anymore. And if we want to craft, if, if we're just doing it to earn money, there are much better things we could be growing just purely for silver, but for, for, for currency. Um, that, of course, being tasty, tasty psychoid plants, cucumber itself. So, we got, so I've got two basins of those down, and I think that's probably enough, right? These smelters are never going to be able to catch up until we've caught up with the bionics for the smelters, if that makes sense. So what do we need for this teaching AI, then? To be honest, I'd love to give everybody one of these. The 35%, like, extra hunger can easily be offset by by just giving them, you know, like, an advanced stomach or something like that. So we've got to make a neural network, like a reprogrammable one, right? What's it called? Neural Network Mark Medicine. So this one here. Um, okay, we need a neuromodulator for that one. Neuromodulator must be on the other bench. There it is. One energy modulator. Bloody hell. Energy modulator. Does not require any other type. So we need to build this one first. Then this one. Uh, so queued up. So we've always got five cybernetic fingers. You need five cybernetic fingers to make the cyber. So the prosthetic hand. The prosthetic hands you need for the prosthetic arms. So they, unlike the other mod. If you remember the last prosthetics mod we tried out. You install an arm. And then into the arm you install a hand. And then into the hand you install fingers. They do a similar thing but in the opposite order. So you make the fingers. Then you make that into a hand. And then you make that into the prosthetic. Um, and kind of specialize it through upgrades instead. So it's completely the opposite of the last mod. I don't think one's better than the other. They both basically do the the same thing but they're both they both got their own little quirks which i quite like quite like having prosthetics mods as well that aren't just simply super powerful arm mark seven um where you just take you make you know your base super powerful arm and then you just upgrade it seven times this one actually requires you to kind of do the fingers the hand things that just make sense as you go through progression there there we are so bear is getting some recycling experience what level is he now again sorry level four uh oh 4.99 right so he's got to be level eight i believe before he can start smelting uh, yeah, crafting eight before we can start work on the shrooms. So it won't take him too long. I think give it a couple of days and he'll be he'll be good as new. Speaking of good as new, how's Mondo doing? Actually, speaking of good as new, where is Hocus? Hey, let's send you down to Earth now then. 
Don't really want to use this cargo shuttle too frequently because it's quite expensive to run, I think, compared to the other one. Use it more fuel. Oh, it's apparently really, really fast as well. I think we just were in the, we're in the right place for that. Actually, let's check it. What fuel are we looking at? 109. Oh, it's way more efficient. Unless it was fully fueled, at which point it's really not. Um, we'll test it properly next time, but we'll... It would be better for going back and forth in little journeys to take the cargo shuttle. So I'll try and make sure she takes this one next time because we're not going to be ferrying anything back, but we might need to send a lot of things up in the cargo shuttle. So we'll try and make sure this one's always on Earth when it's not doing anything. Shame you can't send them up automated. We, we always need to send a pilot with them. Um, right, so Hocus Pocus, I need you to... Uh, who's the best doctor right now? Still Zorato, right? Well, technically it's Mondo, but of course, you know, kind of, kind of irrelevant. Right. Oh, he's got his love enhancer. Well, that's quite good. Um... A cybernetic exoskeleton, metabolic mechanites. I swear we bought something else. Maybe I didn't buy it in the end. I know we installed a lot of stuff into Emily, but I thought we had something else. That's all right. Let's go Zerato doing that as soon as possible, because I want, you know, we might as well take advantage of Mondo while he's, uh, okay, I've got to be careful about the phrase. We might as well take advantage of the already sick Mondo while he's lying in a hospital bed. Oh no, I've made it worse. Uh, don't worry about it. What I'm saying is we can double down on the time that he spent off his feet, basically. Medical level 12. That's concerning. I thought you were a much better medic than that. Luckily, you're in, like, a state-of-the-art premium hospital, so I don't think anybody could fuck this up. Unless we're doing brain surgery. There we are. So, carrying capacity plus 30 there. 125% um, efficiency does affect his movement speed as well. Um, and then we've also got the metabolic mechanites hunger rate multiplier. But it's 45. So, making those in combination with the learning, with the, with the smart brain, what makes you learn stuff, is really good. I might, in fact, because to be honest, by the time Mondo is up, Bear will probably be ready to uh, learn. He'll be ready for the smeltery. Um, not to put into the smeltery, of course, but to but to work at the smeltery. By that time, Mondo will probably be ready to start training up as well. And he would obviously be way more effective. So we could install the brain uh, learning power into him to make up for lost time, which is spent, you know, in a coffin by a nuclear reactor rotting away. Right, let's send Hocus back. Mondo needs some company before he goes mad. Uh, sorry, not Mondo. Dr. Don MD. Uh, let's send you up with some... We've got fine meals down here, damn. Um, I mean, we could send some components up. Because those are obviously what we need for the for the base walls. So we'll send another 20 of those. Uh, some medicine. I don't know if we've got any up there, but it couldn't hurt to send a little bit more. You got 980 steel. We're actually starting to generate like a good amount of resources. Better we're still crafting stuff as well. Bear in mind, at the end of yesterday, the last thing we crafted was the... You guys didn't see it, because I was trying to do it as kind of a secret surprise. Um, but we did craft... To, so to craft the, uh, the AI core, you need... Oh, sorry, to craft the Luciferium for the Resurrectors, you need an AI core. So the AI core is 8 Advanced Component 65. God, it's actually quite cheap, in my opinion. But um, Luciferium is one Persona core and one Advanced Component. So that's 9 Advanced Components we use up. Then we have to then convert it into this one. So we're using up, like... Actually, you know, when I put it like that, when, we, when we're using up, like, what? 17 Advanced Components. Oh, plus another 12 there. Holy shit. We spent, like, 37 Advanced Components to bring this dude back to life. Okay, maybe it wasn't that cheap in the end. But my point was, we're still making a good amount of resources, even despite all that. Oh, balls. I loaded her back into the cargo shuttle, didn't I? Well, that's all right. It doesn't matter too much. This this thing can still take way more than we've got to send up anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Robo trading. Now, where is that? Is that on the moon? Because that could be very useful. No, it's down here. That's okay. We can buy it, miniaturize it, and send it up. It's no problem. Uh, where are you, little robo trader? We don't have much silver right now. Again, that's exactly why I'm building the... Oh, man. I got some good robos, too. Um, got plenty of skill trainers in mining. Molecular analysis. Do we have that? Let me just double check here. Um, molecular analysis. Uh, it doesn't tell you the amount of tech prints you need to unlock that in with the, with the research thing. Um, do we have any tech prints lying around? I believe I used them all. Yeah, we did. Okay, we should probably buy that then. Because um, it's one of our final kind of tech prints that we need. Uh, that also allows us to make the, the, the stomachs, right? To cancel out the learning negatives. Um, oh, God, we're going to have to sell them chem fuel. Have some chem fuel. Uh... To be honest, I think I'd rather just craft my own robots at this point. Let's give them, like, uh... You guys want, like, 200 gold? They're not going to buy it for very much, are they? Oh, they're, they're actually buying it for almost as much as they're selling it. So this is pretty good. Um, let's go 228. We need the gold for advanced components. I'm a little worried that we're... We're relying too much on tradeship. So I'm selling gold and plasteel and whatnot to buy advanced components when we should just be crafting them to save as much value. The limiting factor we've got right now is silver, realistically. Well, I know what we need advanced components for. To be fair, we've got another eight to expand the hydroponics bay, and I think we'll do that. Um, so let's go ahead and expand this wall. I mean, it's an internal wall, so we don't need to have... 
We don't need to have any of this in place, to be honest with you. I might take it all apart. Um, like, reclaim all these resources. It's only the very outer wall. We need to... We need to ensure it's hull. Because we're never going to take off. More to the point. You know, we're never going into space. So we might as well... Might as well do something like this. Um, we could take away... I mean, we could take away all this stuff too, couldn't we? Uh, actually, we would need another uh, hull around there. It doesn't matter, to be reasonable. It really does not matter at all because they're in space with spacesuits. Um, it would be nice at some point to be able to not have them rely on EVA suits all the time when they're running around the base, though. What is wrong with these people? I, I just watched, but I thought, okay, you know what, Mondo, he's up on his feet. He's he, he went over to the to the clothing rack, got his clothes. He picked up his weapon, his, his, his axe. He's more prepared than any of them. He walked over and planted a single plant, and then Roger Wilco kicked the absolute shit out of him. The man was alive and on his feet for about five fucking minutes. For God's sake. Is he, he's actually going to bleed out as well. Oh, for God's sake. They bit right through to his shoulder. Dr. Zerato MD, thank you. Please rescue Mondo. This is the most dedicated man in the colony, and Roger Wilco just tried to do him in immediately. I've never been so annoyed. I, I looked away for a second because I'm trying to redo the moon base because it was, uh, it, like I said, we don't, we don't need the, the, the things on the internal walls. Anyway, that's great. Thank you. You wait till he mechanizes. Then he's going to beat the absolute hell out of you, Roger Wilco. He's back up on his feet already. This is, be more like Mondo. Be more like Mondo. Look at this man. Air is stuck in an infinite cycle of recycling toque, making toque, and then recycling the toque that he just made. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good for training, to be honest, because he's basically doubling down. It costs us a lot of uh, a lot of cloth, but who really cares about cloth? Um, what we should do is let's reinstall this to here uh, and this to here, and let's just help speed him up as much as possible. Let's see about this medical bay then, because I've had it in a few series, but we never got around to making it. So let's go ahead and make one Gladius, preferably out of steel. I think it needs to be steel. Um, and then the other thing is we need to refine medis me me medi something medifuel. Um, we've got alternate recipes there. So when it's herbal medicine, neutroamine. What's the difference between that and this one? Oh, one uses insect meat. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we researched the alternate one then. Nobody has a combination of six crafting, three intellectual, and three cooking. Really? Well, someone's got this one, so I guess we'll roll with this one then. Um, I don't know how we make metafuel or metastone bricks either. That's the other thing we need. Um, okay, so make metafuel. How much do we need for the bay? So it's, uh, yeah, it's metastone blocks. How the hell do we make metastone blocks? Stone cutting bench. Make metastone chunk. Oh! One ingredient, so any... One, one ingredient? What do you mean by one ingredient? I guess any stone chunk. Okay. So five metafuel per chunk, and how many metastone blocks come out of a... Oh, for God's sake, this is going to be a penny I'll try and work out. You know what? Just do until X. Sod it. Oh. 2,816 metastone blocks. What the hell are you talking about? Of course we don't have that. What? <laughs> uh, 2,816, if I'm not mistaken, is the... Yeah, that is just the sum total of all of our stone blocks. What the hell are you talking about? Metastone blocks, do until X. Oh. Because... It, they just count as stone blocks as stone blocks, right? Okay. Um, we'll do X times then. What's the output from this? So 1,600 worker, one metastone chunk uh, gives us what? Uh, it doesn't say. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just do that 10 times and see what we end up with. I really have no idea. Um, do until X where X is 10. I guess that's fine. What else can I do? Uh, there you go. That'll do it. Oh, God. Where is that? Oh, my God. No. Wow. Are we are we safe? Certainly looks like it's over. You son of a bitch. Tomato plant died because of the cold. Yeah, all of our... Uh... Oh, tomato plant. Hang on. Oh, that's on the moon. Shit. Um, well, let's go ahead and get these internal walls finished then. Um, solar flare has knocked out both the power on the moon and on... Do we need to build around this? I mean, I will, just for aesthetics reasons. Um, but it's knocked out the power, obviously, everywhere. So it's a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. Barry is unspecialized. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and give him all the mining skill trainers. Training up to be the best miner in the colony. Has he got a passion in mining? He does. He has a single passion. He's... Okay, so there's one. Use, use it again. 15 mining. Wow. Holy shit. 
Um, what about the one that's damaged? Is that even usable anymore? Uh, let's just make sure. Learn mining. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send Barry to the moon with his 17.92 mining skill. And we're going to have him go along the moon surface and just mine everything up. I would love to give him some barnets before we send him up there, but that's okay. Um, let's just get you to equip from armor right then, Barry. And we'll send you, obviously, up into... Oh, there goes all the plants starting to die. Brilliant. And we'll send you up into into orbit quickly. So he's going to be the one to really kind of bring in a lot of fresh resources to our moon base, which right now is kind of struggling a little bit, I will admit. Um, have we got any advanced components? Hello. Nothing at all. Bollocks. Uh, advanced. Nothing. Damn. What the hell have we spent all those on, then? Probably rebuilding the solar panels that were destroyed, maybe? I don't know. Um... Well, let's put you with... Do you want to send anything up? Not really. Uh, we send some steel. But again, when we've sent this guy up, we're not really going to need it. We'll, we'll send him 1,000 uranium. Oh, God. Okay, 500 uranium. Uh, we'll send him 400 steel. We'll just send a care package. Uh, oh, that's, that's jade. Oh, we do need jade. Um, 400 steel. There you go. Problem, problem solved, I guess. Right. Off you go. Oh, wait. Hang on. Did I load him on? I did. Barry. Yeah, that's Barry. Right. Barry? You got a job to do. You are our, our head. You are Bruce Willis in the movie Armageddon. You are our head moon miner. We've got a lot of resources to get up on the moon. You can see we've got loads of steel, um, loads of uncovered resources too, just a shitload of components. And it's either we dedicate. I mean, Hocus is is basically doing that, but two of them. I'm Baron Hocus has only got twelve point three one mining there too. It's the distance running back and forth that's the real killer, which is why we need multiple people to really help out with things. Can Barry to the moon? Right there we are. Got plenty of resources. Should have landed that a bit closer to the to the door, shouldn't I? Right, so that way we can start work on our hydroponics again, which has obviously kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit where we've had to um, redo everything. Plus, we need to run power cables now. Um, we're not using the powered walls anymore. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Now, I was told as well over Discord we should try and use unpowered walls where possible because apparently if the powered walls get hit with explosives... Um, it causes frame rate lag or hit, hit by anything in space. Apparently it causes quite a lot of frame rate lag, which is um, good that I know in advance before we start building the entire bloody spaceship, to be honest with you. Actually, I was going to move that back, but we don't really need to. We could put the um, kitchen sink cabinet, we could put the tool cabinet, and we could put a kitchen cabinet behind it. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's where all our advanced components went. There we go. And that's now being immediately upgraded. Fantastic. There we are. Cool. Oh, no, we still have loads. I don't know why they thought we didn't. Very, very strange. Okay. This is cool. We've got a really nice, slick production line. And look at that. It's being immediately upgraded into the teaching AI. Ready to be put right into Mondo's brain. I confuse him. Just come back from the <laughs> back from the dead and now he's got a robot in his brain. Uh, where is he? Uh, Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. i got a gift for you, my friend. Well, I don't know if you call it a gift. It's probably a burden. Um, metabolic mechanites. We've already done that. Hang on. Uh, teaching AI. There we are. And there... Uh, okay, we didn't quite end up like I said. I said that we'd probably have finished training up Bear by the time that Mondo is ready to go. Um, he's pretty close though, 7.21. We only need, like, what, 0 0.8 of a skill there? And then Mondo can basically take over from Bear and start training up as well. We could potentially have five smelters on the go at the same time here. And we are going to get through these resources in no time. But when we have four people, we started to get on top of things. It's only where we've kind of had a bit more of a division of labor, sending people into space, chuckles, dying, definitely didn't help out. Look at this plastic. There's bloody loads of it. Oh, weird. I'm going to cancel that because we don't we don't desperately need plastic or anything, especially not on the moon right now. Um, wow, that's crazy. We need someone up here that can craft advanced components because that would help facilitate the building of the of all these hydroponics bays too. Um, man, there are so many resources. I think that Barry, the miner on the moon, I think that was a good play. We need a crematorium. Of course, the corpses aren't going to rot on the moon. It's the moon. Um, let's go misc and then... Crema Where are crematoriums now? Production? I guess so. Uh, there we are. Electric crematorium for 50 granite blocks. We're going to go jade. Ele oh, that couldn't be any more on brand, could it? Fantastic. Um, we'll go ahead and build like an external crematorium somewhere. Because we could put it just right up to the reactor. <laughs> Seems sensible. Um, you want to build a hull around that. I guess we kind of don't have a choice. God, these walls are expensive. Um, do something like that. And then we'll just stick a... I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a bloody crematorium. Just roof over the friggin' thing. Sure, we can have the hauling bots cremate anyway, because it's just a case of dragging it into the... Let's go cremate corpse. Do forever. Um, I'm sure the hauling bots will be able to deal with that. I'm hoping so anyway, because I don't really want our people doing it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, because it means we've got corpse disposal. And we don't have to worry about our people constantly being sad about that. I'm going to replace some more internal walls now that we've got the, got the jade to do so. But to be honest, the nuclear reactor is acting... 
really, really well on the moon. It's 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 cooling or, or keeping our plants um, to the right temperature. We, we've we've got nuclear warmed peas coming in, <laughs> which sounds a little bit concerning in hindsight. Uh, you've got to be careful we don't end up like we have right now, where it's unroofed. Otherwise, it can't work. Um, let's get him to work on it as soon as possible. Otherwise, this bloody reactor is going to turn off. Oh no, that could be bad. Where's it happening? Here? Well, it's not on this map, I'm pretty certain. Home? Uh... I have no idea. That's worrying. Oh! There they are. Shit. Uh, they're on the other side of the kill box, though, so I don't think we need to worry about it. We don't have any job designations up there, as far as I know. We need to come and empty the kill box out, actually, because this is not very effective. When we are finished building uh, upgrades, bionics, that type of thing, why can we not build those? We need... Oh, we need regular bionic fingers. Fucking hell. Um... Eventually, I'll... What, right, is that is that just the basic thing? Yes, yeah, synthroplastial components. Fine. Good. Done. Perfect. Every time I think I've I've finally worked out what we're missing, we never actually start the bloody job. Right, there we are. After we finish with bionics, we are going to move into... Well, to be honest, I'm not obviously going to upgrade too many people with bionics, but when we get to that stage, um, weapon production. I think it's some high-end Sparkling Worlds weaponry to, to round out our nice armor we've got going on. How's Bear looking? 7.87. No, no, no. Hauling nobody to nowhere. You will come and finish your training. Meanwhile, in Dr. Don MD's luxury moon base, we've got another load of jade flooring going down. This is incredible. What a, This is the perfect place. This is the perfect moon base, and no one's ever going to be able to beat it. He's done. I quite literally pushed him to his breaking point there, so you are good. You are now off of the tailoring team and into the regular smeltery boys. There we are. Welcome aboard. Okay, so Mondo... You are now tailoring team. It's taking him a very long time to train himself up. He does have the trainer. He does have the double passion in it. Um, I believe he's also like neurotic or something like that. Uh, psychopath blood loss. No, he's not. That's okay though. It won't take him too long to hopefully pick up some skills here. I want to turn this into a um a, a dedicated rec room, I think. And we can have this as a dining slash cooking area. Um, a door actually thrown into the freezer wouldn't hurt. So I might slightly adjust this wall out kind of like to there so that we can have a, a direct path through. Um... Maybe I could redo the whole thing. Let's not worry about that right now. A uh, dedicated rec room will be down here. And then this area is going to be crafting. And then we'll attach a stockpile, I guess, onto that one. Um, for the time being, we'll just shunt the, 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 the stockpile into what will be the workshop. Um, and then we need to remove some of the internal walls again, don't we? So we need to go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Uh, I need to be careful again about replacing the walls by the reactor. Otherwise, it'll start screaming at me. All right, let's do something like... Uh, excuse me, X-Dotted on MD. Oh, there we go. Okay, fine. He's beat me to it. That's comedian. Holy shit. So, I'm planning a pretty ridiculous project right now, and it's it's swallowing up all of our steel. I'll show you what it is in a second. I just want to see what these guys have got. What I've also noticed, we've got 5,400 psychoid leaves. So, somebody needs to get back on the psychoid production. Um, the the, the cucumber, cucumber paste purifying plant. Um, God damn. Yeah, to be fair, we're actually getting through the steel on uranium pretty well. It's just the other ones that we're not staying on top of. And the plastic we're doing pretty well with as well. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's all we need then, just for the time being. Thank you for your... Oh, wait, we've got to sell them something. Uh, you guys must love chem fuel and also pumpkins and even a pea. Not all of them. Uh, minus... You can have 100 peas. There you are. I'm a generous god. Excellent. So what are we working on? Uh, this thing. A glutinet hub with four work speed integrators on each of the electric smelters. I think we need to build the uh, concurrency processor, is it, to allow, yeah, increase uh, what the maximum simultaneous integrated connections. So it's three by default, isn't it? And then if you build one more, you can have four or something like that. Um, we're going to try and build one all of these things. It's just going to take me a little while because, again, steel is kind of the, the limiting factor here. Um, there's something like that. That's fine. That's okay. Do we need anything else? We might need more processors. What? I mean, this is four advanced processors, so we'll see how we do. What the fuck? What? But I... What? It's this person again. What? <laughs> what? We beat you to death last time. Who are you? I'm so confused. We beat him to death, and he had a death acid. It's... What? <laughs> this is blowing my mind a little bit. I don't know who this person is. I don't know where they keep coming from. Um, go and deal with them. Probably shouldn't send in grenade squad. I saw he had an axe, and I thought, you know what? That's probably pretty good. Who's closest to the prison? Wake up. 
Let me out here. How do you... Where do you... Uh, I just don't understand how he's here again. This is so strange. I've been off just a couple of times now to test out these cluster columns, actually see what they're all about, but I don't really know how they work. Um, an advanced column for base defense. Upon detecting an enemy in any direction, it would detonate a highly explosive cluster charge in the same direction. But it looks as if its actual range is very, very short. Um, I wonder if... So if it, if it obviously counts as a turret, enemies will shoot at it. But I wonder if it actually does count as a turret. Can be reloaded. Well, it probably does then. Um, I was thinking we could put it there, but obviously the downside of that is it'll get it'll get shot at. If we were to put it there, or or, or somewhere like like just there, for example, um, where enemies have to cross over to get into the next zone, it might have chance to react. I don't know, but we could always give it a go. Um, this way, we might be able to take out a few enemies from from kind of the the safety of our little cluster area. There. That's quite cool. Put down a couple of those actually in the in the same area. Yeah, that could work. I guess what you would probably do is, is put an embrasure on this side. Maybe put a cluster column there. As they're walking past, they'd get potentially destroyed by it. Um, maybe in this zone too would be pretty good. If we put it put it there, that way it can get them on the diagonal as well. The cargo shuttle is automated. Oh, good stuff. Okay, so I've got these people just on the moon mining, obviously. Um, they can help fuel the... Well, all the crafters basically back on Earth. This is fantastic. Okay. So we've essentially just got kind of a moon mining base right now, but it's working pretty goddamn well, given that we've just sent 1,500 steel that we basically mined overnight. This is great. Um, well, let's keep working then. Let's just get these guys constantly mining things up. Because we've got an absolute stockpile of just a, like an absurd amount of metals up here. There we go. That'll do it. That should just about finish off the glitter net stuff now. And our resource generation is... Uh, Better than it's ever been. So how are we doing with the prosthetics then? Because that's the only thing I'm not really paying much attention to. He's got four fingers, two hand prosthesis, um, a shitload of other bionic fingers, a cybernetic arm mark four. Oh, wow. Um, what are we missing for this then? We need one programmable hand, which we've got. I don't know why it says we... I don't know why it says that we don't there. Uh, programmable hand prosthesis. That's the right one, correct? Okay, well, we definitely have that. It's just lying to us. Um, four advanced components, 25 sin thread. That's okay. Uh, how are we doing for... Oh, God. Have we been using the sin thread in crafting recipes? Bollocks. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have been using that to train up our crafting. Yeah, my bad. Okay, well, let's limit that to cloth for the future. Um, it's not as if we can't craft a boatload more. It's just, obviously, our crafters are quite busy doing literally anything else. Look at the, the, the cucumber. Oh, God. Um... We need to give you a direct door through, don't we? I think that's probably not a bad idea. Um, let's do something like this then. And let's get a couple of auto doors on there. Just try and speed up his life a little bit. <laughs> this is good. This is this is very fast. Look at that. Wow. What a turnaround. So we've got plenty of uh, actual silver for trading. Or plenty of plenty of currency there. Wow, this is great. We've got so much efficiency down today. We, we've just completely changed. I mean, look at all this. We don't have right now enough overhead for all of these. We've got the 12 integrators, but we just don't have the uh, the petaflops for it. Um, that's why we're going to hopefully get these two built as soon as possible. We just need a shitload of components now, like a disgusting amount of components. Um, balls. Do you have any on the moon? Uh, yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Huh. Let's send that cargo shuttle back up then. Perfect. Right, back to the moon with you. Uh, do you want to send anything up there? I don't, think we, I don't think they need anything. They've got a perfect life. They're happier than everybody else. So I think they're good. Um, we've got to send something. Sydney the Rhino up into space and watch his eyes blow out of his head. Uh, let's send... Let's send uh, the bio ship bottom. That's a good idea. And launch you up to... Oh, we caught the moon on the wrong angle, but that's okay. Off you go. Fantastic. Oh, there it is. Wow, that thing's bloody fast as well. Right, toggle hover mode. And let's get you loaded up with all the components that we're going to need. This is going to help with uh, 150. We need some up here. Let's load 115. There you go. Uh, nice. And then a bit more steel. They've, they've mined. Literally, we sent down almost all the steel we had. They've mined 1,654. They are insane. These people are... This was a great idea. Like, the moon base has been just phenomenal for help speeding things up. Eventually, we're going to flip tactic and obviously just be sending all the steel and everything up to... Uh, up to here when the bionics are done. Uh, the, the Obviously, the integrations are all complete. Then we're just going to be generating as many resources as we want, as much as we want. Then we'll obviously swap things over and build a couple of cargo pods, just basically sending resources back and forth. And let's send it back home. There you go. Bunch more gear for you. That one is a lot faster, isn't it? Certainly seems to be. Uh, there it comes. Wow, yeah, that's a lot faster. Holy shit. Boom. 
We need to build another one of those then. I might even retire the old cargo. I feel like I want to keep it for old time's sake. You know, that's what they escaped their original spaceship in. I feel like I just kind of... Oh, God, it's so derpy. There we go. Uh, toggle hover mode. Perfect. Fresh delivery. And that should be able to finish all of this stuff off, to be honest. Because the rest of it's plastic, gold, uranium. We have we have plenty of that stuff. Or at least enough for, for finishing this stuff off. Yeah, that's basically it. Great. It's finally done it. I, I think it's time we can actually start working on the spaceship. So I've sort of been ferrying resources back and forth. Kind of kind of doing a bit of background management here. I think they've been working on some more... What have we got here? Programmable... Yeah, these cybernetics take a long time to craft. But to be fair, they've been doing a lot of uh, smelting again, fully enough. All the plan is now is to basically get everyone into space. Move whatever machinery can. Obviously, uninstall all the cybernet stuff. Uninstall the hospital stuff. And very slowly ferry it all up to the moon where we can start working on the spaceship. Because... We've got more than enough steel to do it now. Um, we are basically ready to go. It's just a case of building however many bedrooms for the amount of people we've got these days. What have we got? 16? So we've got to build quite a few more bedrooms. But after that, it's just all spaceship crafting from here on out. So I'm quite excited to be actually at the stage of the game. You know, we're past all the kind of boring crafting grind. We're past all of the smelting grind. We've actually got on top of it, which is quite nice. We've got shitloads of resources. So, um, it's basically down to us how far we want to take it, whether or not we want to swap all these hydroponics out. We could always just reinstall them and send them into space. The one thing I do need to do before we start bringing people up is building more nuclear reactors so that we can power the base, because not even have enough power to keep our bloody cleaning bots online right now. So, this is the next goal for me. I'll get a couple of these planned out in between episodes, but then tomorrow we can actually make a start on trying to work out how to build a ship the, unlike the Robo Daddy series, is meant to be functional, combat ready, weapons primed, rather than just being, you know, the entire base launched into space. So that will be our goal for tomorrow then. It's been quite a long slog actually today, just making sure. Uh, a lot of micromanagement, basically, just sending the shuttle back and forth. I'm sure I've, I'll edit most of it out because it was quite literally just filling this thing up, sending it back, and as we need more resources, swapping them out. But my god, are we basically ready to go? So, let's leave it there tomorrow spaceship building so i'm going to do a little bit of research into what exactly it is we need to make this spaceship go um kind of maybe recommended builds if there are any kind of good weapon combinations because again unlike last time we sort of launched something into space this time it will be combat capable so this is going to be quite interesting Thank you to our executive coffee producers for making the episode possible in the first place. A big thank you to Darkus, Odie, Sonic Uberetto, Emily, Moira, Mythomatic, Big Weeb, Layla, Scarlet Bard, Jan, Buen Gun, Juncture On, Asser and the Cat. My name is Ndio and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on coffee. A big thank you to those guys. A thank you as well to Shatulski, Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smurtworm, Galupo Fruit Hag, Don, Athanafis, Dinosius the Esoteric, Flabubba, Plumby. Fred and Valo, along with you guys at home for watching. Big thank you to you all. And tomorrow, all in on the spaceship building, I think.